This area is one of the great places to see wildlife in the world. We let animals decide where they're going to go. And what we try to do is encourage people to give animals the right of way. That's a wonderful opportunity, but it's a challenge for us because what people want to do, visitors want to do, they've come a long way, is they want to take their cell phones and they want to go right up to the animal and they want to get the closest possible picture. Wildlife habituate to the presence of people because they encounter people hundreds of times a day along roads. So a natural response for bears is to lose their fear of people, uh, tolerate park visitors, and uh, will feed in meadows with hundreds of people watching and taking photographs. The situation at the bridge, uh, you know, it was a complex situation. We were short staffed, so there's, there were multiple bear jams happening in that district at the same time. So we had only one park staff person present. And in the beginning, all was going well. It was a typical bear jam. When I got there, I saw a whole lot of people on the bridge. On the far side of the bridge, there was a black, a black bear sow with two little coys, little tiny cubs, cubs of the year. And on the near side of the bridge was the sow with the three yearlings. And then when the bear came up to the road, instead of just crossing like it typically did, it turned and went to cross the bridge. People were, I think, thinking the worst that this bear was chasing them when the bear could have caught any one of those people that wanted to. She just wanted to get across the bridge with her cubs. And so the situation got out of hand pretty quickly. But again, with only one staff person there, it, was, it would have been a difficult situation even if we had three or four rangers present. Some of the things that people should have done um, was first of all, don't leave the safety of your car. It's better if you stay in your car or at least stay next to your car. So if, if the bear makes an unexpected uh, move, uh, like in this case, turning to go over the bridge. If those people had been at their cars, they could have just got in and then the situation would have resolved itself. Also, park regulations require that you stay at least 100 yards from bears and that's a minimum distance. So if the bear wants to move your direction, uh, you need to back off so that you continue to maintain uh, 100 yards minimum and further if, if you're affecting the bear's behavior. The other things people should do, you know, don't uh, surround bears at bear jams or crowd bears or follow bears into the woods when they leave. It's really important to give visitors uh, a chance to see wildlife and to have that as a take home sense of appreciation. But on the other hand, visitors need to be responsible because there's no way that we can be in all places at all times. We have to rely on the visitors to be rangers themselves. If they do that, it's a wonderful coming together. And it's a time of stewardship for the park, and it's a great experience for every visitor that we meet.